we've here this is the strongest lock on the system top of Lapworth locks there's several people going to Crick uh, floating my boat or something or another they're going down and uh, we met them coming up they said they were coming down apparently they're not very far ahead of us after six weeks so they don't go very far every day Artie's bringing another couple of boats down we all go in different ways but we all end up on the Grand Union I'm pretty sure of it so it's possible that we meet uh, some of them I don't know but this is um, this is the last lock or the first lock on the Stratford depends on which way you look at it really isn't it it says lock number two but trust me I haven't seen another one that's my lovely lady doing the locks again she likes doing the locks she preferred to do the locks than drive the boat but she doesn't like walking across which I can't say I'm delightful some of them are uh, delighted to do rather right let's uh, move forward Well, since I last spoke to you, we're now at the bottom of the uh, Lapworth Locks. Well, last but one, then we're on the Grand Union. This goes into the basin where you can go to Stratford. If I went straight on, or I bare left, and we go on the Stratford, uh, on the Grand Union, sorry about that. And uh, we're turning left. Nice. Lockie helped us set the box all the way right up, up down through, or helped Sue, I should say, um, which made it quite uh, quite good. It's 12 noon now, so uh, Sue's finished with Big Bertha. That's uh, our heavy duty one she got from up north. Um, trouble is, it's quite heavy, so that's uh, its disadvantage. So it took four hours then to go from Cider, Bluebell Cider House to, to here and um, well, all we're going to do really is go to the top which is going to be another hour or so, um, maybe a bit longer, I don't know yet, but uh, to get to the top of the Hatton which is our goal today and that will be enough uh, to do, I'm not going to go down the Hatton today that's for sure um, so stopping at the top is going to be the the thing so yeah it's been uh, it's, it's gone we thought it was going to clear up but it's gone like grey and overcast and it's becoming quite windy now so uh, as we come out of this little area here, you'll see, for those of you who are just watching, and just watching and learning, and probably already understand from other vloggers that do this sort of thing, um, the centre of the bridge doesn't meet. The two halves of that little bridge in front of us are separate, because um, the horses cable went down through the middle so they didn't have to uncouple the horse but I expect you already knew that but if you didn't every day is a school day so there's a, a the, the rope would have been connected to the boat and the horse would have been walking along the side of the towpath and when the lock was ready the horse would have just continued and somebody would have fed it through that little gap you can see well, I think you can see. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure whether this one has. I was meant to be anyway. Straight ahead of us, you can see a signpost that says Stratford and Grand Union Canal. Well, that speaks out all, all. If you do, if you're currently watching this, and it's uh, uh, the, the, the Stratford is closed uh, further on down, so it's just as well we are turning left because obviously. Um, 
we wouldn't be able to go much further than this. The only thing you could do is to turn around and go back. Now oh, they've welded that bit. Look, there's me educating you. And they've welded that middle bit up for some reason. Anyway, that's what it was like. Well, that one isn't in front. I don't suppose you can see that. I can see right down through the middle of that. There you go. So that's, uh, that's what they're meant to look like. For some reason, the one that we've just gone under is welded. The Grand Union, here we come. So no more locks today, apart from this last one here. Susie Q's running around, locking up the locks, final ones. I'm sure an interesting thought, I'm not quite sure exactly as to where she gets back on board. So anybody um, watching, I need a new, uh, I need a new cook and lock opener, please. <laughs> She'll get to hear this. Don't worry. I don't mean it. Now here's an odd situation. The Golden Plover is a hire boat, which we hired some years ago from Elf Church. And here, or right next to it, Number 40, Adagio, which we had a share. Amazing. Oh, black paint. Well, there you go. All good. That's all. How many, how many, what's the chances of that?